Um, thank you all very much for coming. Um, this has been quite a, an undertaking for us to get it done, and as you can see, um, the place has really taken shape. So before we do anything further, I'd like to introduce you to Hal Snowpack, the uh, supervisor for the town of, um, where are we? Schneider. Schneider, sorry. Because <laughs> you're here, got me all yeah, okay, and, I like to, and he'd like to say a few words. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for showing up. Um, I want to introduce some people here. Broome County Legislator Chairman Jerry Marinich, Dr. Kevin Drum, SUNY Broome, Dickinson, Dickinson, Town of Buckingham, Supervisor uh, Mike Marinaccio, <laughs> Mike Marinaccio, <laughs> Dave Hamlin, Town of Benton, over across the river, and I just thank you for all for coming here and and. Uh, putting support in for the town of Shenango. Uh, I hope uh, that you people can come up here and, and enjoy this venue uh, as, it, as it develops more. Uh, I'm sure that I'm going to catch the devil from older people for not having a, grocery, or a store in here, a department store, but that's the way it goes. And when I first met Stu, he told me about this and I told him I would do everything I possibly could to make sure that it gets done in a quick fashion. And it is it is really shaping up. I think they're going to start here in October, uh, end of October, first of November. I don't know which. I'm going to leave that up to him to tell you people about that. Um, it it is it is something the town really needs. It's something this plaza really needs in Front Street, and and I just hope and pray that this is just the beginning of what's going to go on here in, in the plaza down here because we we certainly do need this uh, uh, place perked up a little bit and this will do it I hope so without further ado Mr. Stu Green again thank you all very much for coming um, this has been a Really great undertaking. Uh, we closed we we closed the Magic City Music Hall in 2008, and um, with my concert business and everything else that I do, I really never gave it any thought to redoing this. Um, my partner Charlie Schmidt, who's a lawyer by the way, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, we met up at Tags, which is the venue that I do all my shows during the summer, and we got to talking about. If he, if he asked me if I was interested in doing another Magic City Music Hall, and I flat out said no. And we kept talking about it, and the more we talked about it, the more it made sense, because there's so many people that I see or I hear and talk to. When are we going to do another Magic City Music Hall? The community needs it. So um, we decided we're going to do it. And um, we, I always knew about this location. Um, and then after we decided to do it, uh, we made a deal with the landlord, and as you can see, what it's going to be. Um, the capacity is going to be anywhere up to 3,000 people. Um, we're going to be able to do equal or better shows than we did at Johnson City Music Hall, and as most of you remember, we did almost everything from uh, Sugar Land to uh, Sticks to uh, so many shows we did. So uh, we've got some other things that we're going to be doing. Friday and Saturday nights, we're going to be open. Um, Friday nights are going to be uh, uh, local rock bands, and Saturday night we're going to be doing country. Uh, we have some other things uh, I can announce. I'm not, I don't remember the date, but for ladies night only, we're going to be doing the uh, uh, Magic Mike review. And then we're also going to be doing, um, uh, I've got to be fan friendly with this. Um, <laughs> small person? Small person wrestling. So uh, that's going to be in November. <laughs> So, like I said, we're going to be doing everything that's at all possible. Uh, the community, I believe, is going to welcome the place back. And um, uh, I guess uh, I'm open for questions.